weekly challenge, another one, another new one, old school cool, Autumn Forzathon, it is back, and we're going to be using the Morgan three-wheeler for all four of these challenges. Let me know your initial thoughts on that, using a three-wheel car, being forced to use it for Forzathon. Now, it's not as bad as you might think, this car is actually pretty manageable and not too bad to drive, so... First thing to remember, you have to do the challenges in order from left to right. Now we're going to kind of do this a little bit different than usual and you're going to see how this goes as we go along here, but here is the car I happen to, I guess I had it from a wheel spin, I don't really know how else I would have had it because I definitely did not buy it at the auto show, but that's another option if you don't have it yet. Just head on over to the auto show, look for Morgan. That is the brand, everything's in alphabetical order, and there it is, 50,000 credits. Now you can also check the auction house, and usually this is a pretty good idea, but generally the buyouts are going to be cheaper than what the car costs at the auto show. When I went to search for the Morgan three-wheeler, I was kind of surprised that I didn't find any buyouts that were cheaper. Now, this is just when I went on to look at it though. I highly recommend if you don't have the car yet and you're trying to save credits, at least take a look here and see if there's anything cheaper than 50000 But there are certainly some low bids. There's probably going to be a lot of people looking here though, so it's not going to be easy to bid on them. But the first challenge you're going to have to worry about after you own and drive the car is just earning a total of six stars at Drift Zones. Now this tune right here, this is going to work for everything. It's an easy tune for everyone to use. It's all-wheel drive, three wheels in this case, and it's good for drifting. It's fast in the B class, and I think no matter what your skill level is with Forza Horizon 4, you're going to have an easy time using this tune. So first thing you want to do is go to your map and filter for the drift zones. The only drift zone I think I'm ever going to use when we have to do challenges like this is the Horizon Donut. It's such a short drift zone, it's extremely easy to get two stars, and it doesn't take long at all. So, you can use this car in rear wheel drive, and you don't have to use my tune if you don't want to. That's just there to save you some time and hopefully make it easier for people who are newer to the game and aren't too great at drifting or tuning or any of that stuff. But you can see there we hit 15,000 score for two stars. You're only gonna have to do that three times. now. The next one is a show-off skill. This one, it's basically just about knowing how to do it, and it's really not too complicated. It's just, it's just about timing and lining it up. So basically, you have to be in a race, and you want to drift and pass someone right after you drift. So you can see there, I drifted, I passed somebody, and then that is how you get the show-off skill. So with all the other skills going on, it can take a little bit for it to actually pop up and show you that you got it. But once the Forzathon is actually active, which it is now, it's going to pop immediately before you even see the skill pop. Like, it'll say challenge completed before you even see that skill pop. So you don't have to bank it, which is nice. The final challenge is then to get five threading the needle skills. I've covered this before for a daily challenge. You just have to get two near miss skills pretty much simultaneously. That is about as far apart as near miss skills can be to get the threading the needle, what you just saw right there. So... Just two near miss skills, really close together, basically just split cars. But I did all that right before this Autumn Forzathon started, so now old school cool, it's hard for me to say that, is active, and the first thing obviously is just getting in the car and driving it. I actually was in the game and the season changed and I had to go back to the festival and then leave the festival for this challenge to work. So keep that in mind if you were in the game and you're trying to figure out like why it's not working. That is probably why. So that brings us back then to six stars. And I'm showing you this right here because I just want you to see how quick and easy this is, even without getting three stars. My goal is just to get two stars. And yes, you can get three stars. You can go to a drift zone that's longer and just do it twice. But doing this drift zone three times for two stars to give you the six, I got to say, it's just as quick. It was super quick. I think it took about a minute maybe a minute 30 tops and thanks to the drivatars hitting into me right after the ghost period went away during the drift zone but you don't have to be a good drifter you don't have to know what you're doing it doesn't have to be pretty just use your handbrake click the a button on your controller when you're going into the drifts and it'll help you just get sideways 
and get as much score as you need to. And again, this thing's all-wheel drive, all three wheels are spinning, and it, this tune was super easy. Like, literally, you just hit the handbrake go sideways, and you get the 15,000 score. And you saw how ugly my drifting was right there with this thing, and it still worked, it still got it done, and that was the goal of it, and that's it. Love Triangle. So, that one's done. The six stars you need in total from the drift zone so if you can only manage one star that's completely fine you're just gonna have to do it a couple more times now back to the show off skills so the race that i like to do is the horizon festival sprint everyone has this sprint race you get it really early on and it's just a race that has perfect turns to get skills like this so i do recommend the blueprinting and as you can see there, you can only have five blueprints, so you might have to replace another one, especially if you use this race a lot. Just make sure it's Colt cars. You have to use the Morgan for, you know, every challenge in this Forzathon event. Most people should know that by now. And just make it clear. You don't want it to be raining. You want to make sure you can drive easy. And I actually recommend using unbeatable difficulty for this. The reason being, the Morgan, this tune that I got here, it is quick. You're going to watch me just blow by these cars just like I did earlier in the video. And then all you got to do is drift by the couple cars on the first turn. So I think it's kind of easy because you don't even have to see the skill pop up. Right there, I did it, I drifted, I passed, and it popped up. So I went right to showing you the in-game notification and it saying completed here in the Forzathon screen, but I decided I should probably go back so you can see the show off skill pop, because there it is, and that's all you have to do. It's super easy, you only need one show off skill, and then you're done with that third challenge. So, again, we're back to the fourth challenge now, earn five threading the needle skills. Honestly, me personally, I just like to go right outside of the Horizon Festival, and just up and down the straightaway. I mean, it's pretty simple. Any straightaway in the game where there's just a lane going each way I think is perfect because then that allows you to split right in between the cars like I did right there. So there's threading the needle and you just have to get five of them total. You just have to keep doing laps. Sometimes the traffic's going to work out perfectly and you'll get them all done real quick. Other times maybe not. But I do recommend going to Horizon Solo for that. That's important so there's enough traffic and Drivatar cars. If you're in online, that's probably not going to be the case, but that is it. Tell me that's not a pretty quick and easy Forzathon event. I mean, you can see not even 30 minutes into the event, and I was done it already. So, and that's with me recording, that's with me doing all this other little stuff here, slowing me down. It should not take you long at all, and the challenges, though, they're fun. They're not super easy. They just don't take a lot of time. So I think this was a pretty good Forzathon but I do also want to show you the Forzathon shop because people always ask me about this in my Forzathon videos. So I figured I'd just show it here. And quack? Seriously? Legendary clothing. Come on. I'm not buying that. I just had it already. But this car, I got to say, looks pretty cool. So this is like the quote-unquote exclusive car. The 2018 KTM Expo GT4. I'm very excited to drive that thing. And I already have the Peugeot Turbo Pew Pew Forza Edition. But I think I'm just going to end off this video with some gameplay with this KTM. Because this is a new car that I didn't have yet. And I uh, figured I'd drive it around here a little bit. Show you the sounds of it and what this thing can do. But that is it for the Autumn Forzathon Weekly Challenge. Old School Cool. 200 Forzathon points basically reward you with this 2018 KTM. And that's it. So if anyone has any questions at all, any issues, any concerns, whatever the case might be, just let me know in the comment section on this video. If you found this video to be helpful or useful, pre please drop a like. Let me know. It shows that you appreciate what I'm doing and that it's actually helpful to you. And if not, hey, dislike it. Let me know why in the comment section. Let me know what I can improve on. And that is pretty much all I got, though. So I hope everyone's had a great week. Go get this Forzathon challenge done. It's pretty quick, pretty easy. It's not like we're going for 7 million skill score again or anything like that. And you can get the Pew Pew Forza edition as well as that new 2018 KTM. So I'm out of here though, guys. Have a great one. Peace.